Tips and today I will be talking about how to install and activate Windows 7 for free because do you know what Microsoft did? That's right, they forced everybody to upgrade to Windows 7. So today I'll be giving Microsoft the middle finger and I'm going to show you how to download and activate Windows 7 for free. Roll the intro! Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go on to this page called getintopc.com and then you just type in the search bar Windows 7. It depends on what version of Windows you want, but for me, I'm going to choose Windows 7 Ultimate because just a name, you know, it has to be Ultimate. So depends on how much um to download one of these it depends on how much um ram and processing power you have but for me i have a 64 bit architecture and eight gigs of ram so i'm just going to download this so it will go through all of this so basically so basically it will say it's getting it from a linux server but it's actually just getting it off this click here to proceed just click that and then just gonna through gonna go through two more steps so that you can get your files. You see, this is a security method so that robots cannot access your files, and it's actually humans who are doing it. If that sounds weird, I'm not an alien, people. I'm definitely not an alien, <laughs> but anyway, it's just gonna download it for you. So I'm just gonna click save. It will then download it and I'm going to pause this video and come back to you when it is finished. Once that is finished downloading, you're going to want to simply just go into your internet browser again and just simply look up um, Windows Activator DAS.RAR I will leave all links in the description below. So I'm just going to simply download this file here. Okay, so it's just going to download. Then once it's finished downloading, I'll go through the next step. Okay, so it has finished downloading, so what you're going to do now is simply just open up VMware Workstation Pro. Click Create a New Virtual Machine. Well, sorry, this is just if you want to use a virtual machine. If you want to do, a, if you want to like install it onto a computer, I have a video for that, which I'll put in the description below. So basically, you're going to go through the basic setup of creating a new virtual machine. So you're going to click next, next, actually click browse, you're going to want to go into your downloads, click on the Windows 7, then click next. Then it'll ask you for your product key, just say no. So we are just going to select this and we are just going to click yes and then next, next, customize hardware. This is optional, but I'm just going to put up to four gigs from the processor. I'm going to just use two cores and I'm going to basically auto instead of auto detect, I'm just going to put in my um, graphics. I'm just going to put in my resolution and the amount of graphics that I want. So, yeah. Just use one gigabyte, click close, click finish. And then VMware will just simply go through the automatic installation process. I will come back to you once it has finished installing. Okay, so I just installed Windows 7 onto this virtual machine. It is just booting up now and pretty soon we should be able to use the PC or a virtual machine or whatever you're using. So here we go. We are just simply going to log in. 
and then I'll show you what to do next. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome to Windows 7, everybody. Right, so now after we have that boot up, we are simply going to go into our downloads. Simply go down to 7 loader and extract the files. So I'm just going to pause the video and come back once it's finished extracting. Okay, so after the file has been extracted, you're just going to basically drag over this into the virtual machine. And then basically after that, just open up the folder and then And then just extract this one. Don't worry, I'll give you a proper one in the description below along with all the other files you need. So here we go. So after you've loaded up this, just click install. And then just wait for it. Okay, so it will then give you this saying installation complete. The loader, certificate and serial were successfully installed. You must restart your computer before the changes will take effect. Please select your preferred option. Just click restart and then restart Windows 7 and then Windows 7 will be activated for the cost price of free so let's just check if this claim is real Okay, here we go. Rah, ultimate mouse movement. Get wrecked, noobs. Okay, I think that's enough mouse shaking for today. Okay, so let's just check if it is activated. So to check this very quickly, just type, just go into the run area and just type CMD, then type SLMGR-XPR, press enter. Okay, so then it will just simply give you this box and look, as you can see, it says this machine is permanently activated. So, um, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please like it with the like button. If you dislike it, you know what to do. And if you want more of this, subscribe. 
Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!